Let's go to page 281. Again, so this is for translation. And again, when you translate, you want to write down exactly what it says. So like number one, okay, it says goals, salary. So BS, right? So salary, write down S. Plus means plus. 75 means 75. And that's it. Okay? Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, yeah, let's go to number three. Normally, you want to read it one time first, okay? So like the two less than, so you have less than, you have to go in the back like this, okay? So two means two, okay? Less than means minus, right? So two less than the number of children, so n for number. So two less than number of children, so n minus two, okay? Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, number five, it says four, means four, right? So again, you just write down exactly what it says. Four means four times, means multiply. Joyce, H, again, you can just write down J, so four times J, and that's fine, okay? So you can have, when you're doing the translation, you just, you know, go down and write down exactly what it says, okay? Okay, number seven. So 20 means 20, right? 20, write down 20. Times means multiply. So you can write down exactly what it says. 20 times the cost of the record. So write down C, right? Keep going, keep going. Increase by means plus, okay? 89 cents, so be 89, okay? So you can 20 times the cost of the record increased by 89 cents. So again, once, once you have the discipline of and, and the technique of how to translate, translation is not too difficult, okay? Okay, let's go to number nine. So one means one, fifth means one over five, right? One fifth, now the cost means of the cost of the hamburgers would be times by C, okay? So one fifth of the cost, okay? And that's it. Okay, let's go to... Next one. Okay, number 11. So five means five, right? Again, when you're doing a translation, you write down exactly what it says. Times means multiply the speed of the cars, so it's called an S, right? And then you, then you keep going. Plus means plus 100 miles per hour. Again, you don't have to worry about label. So it plus 100, and that's it. Okay, number 13. Let's go to the next one. Okay, number 13. Now, again, when you have less than, remember less than, you have to kind of go backward, right? So leave a little bit of space. So, so 10 less than means so 10 less than, okay, 5 means 5 times, okay, 5 times the square of an unknown number, so we call it x square, right, square of an unknown number, and that's it, okay, so be 5 times, so 10 less than 5 times the square of the unknown number. Okay, let's go to number 15. Okay, 15. So the sum means you're going to add two things together. Sum of 8. So first item goes over here. 8 and an unknown number is divided by, so remember when you have division, use the bar, right? It's divided by the square of the unknown number. So square of the unknown number, okay? So the sum, right, the sum of 8 an unknown number is divided by the square of the unknown number. Okay, and that's it. Okay, let's do 17.
Okay, again, the sum, so let's write down sum, right? So sum means plus, so you're adding two things. So the first item is 32, so go to the first blank, and 9 fifth. 9 fifth of the Celsius, of the Celsius temperature, that's it. Again, the one, so 9 fifth means 9 fifth times, okay? And so that, that's it. Okay. okay, 19. So I'm trying to fold the paper so that it kind of it can kind of line things up. Okay. Okay, so twice means two times. Again, when you have a whole bunch of stuff, let me just use parentheses. When you have only one item, you can just write down exactly what it says. But when you have, when you see there's a whole bunch of stuff, you use parentheses. So twice means two times the result of subtracting an unknown number. So subtracting, subtracting an unknown number from regular. Remember, when you subtract the from, you have to do the, the, the switch, right? Subtract, so subtracting an unknown number from five, okay? And that's it. Okay, let's go. okay, let's go to twenty one. So the length of a rectangle, right? Length of a rectangle is twelve means twelve more means plus, more than is width, okay? And that's it, okay? Okay, 23. Okay, the sum means you're gonna add two things together, the sum, right? The f so the sum of the two numbers, so you can write the first and second so sum of the first number and the second number, right? The sum of two numbers is 60, okay? And that's it, okay? Or you can use X and Y, it doesn't matter. But I think F and S make more sense. First plus second equal to 60. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, let's get back to the book. Okay, let's go to 25. Okay, sen j, so that you said, so that you use s for sen j, is means equal five. Now, five younger than means five less than, so you have to use backwards, so it'd be five less than his brother, so use b for brother, right? So sen j is five less than or five younger than his brother, okay? Okay, let's go to 27. So Tom, right on Tom, right, has, is, you, you just think of it, is, okay? 139 means 139, more than means plus, mirror means in, okay? And that's what you have to do, right? So again, that's how you translate. Okay, let's go to 29. <clears throat> the product means multiplication, of two consecutive number, <coughs> so you can, so the first number would be x, and the second number is consecutive number increased by one, so it would be x plus one, right? Because the first number is x, the next number would be increased by one, and that would be that, okay? Okay, let's go to 31. Okay, 31, the sum means, okay, it's kind of read a little bit quick, okay? So sum of the three consecutive R integers. So, so you're adding three numbers. It means you need to get two, two, uh, at least two plus signs. So you're adding three consecutive R integers. So first it would be X, okay? 
Now the next i integer will be increased by two, so it'll be x plus two. Okay, don't think of x plus one. Think about right. See, think about like twenty five, twenty seven. See the difference by two, right? So you have to keep adding two. And the next one would be two more, so it'd be x plus four. Okay, so sum means you're adding, and you got three consecutive numbers. Okay, thirty three. Okay, 33, the length of a rectangle, so L, the length of the rectangle is, means equal, now it's less than, so it'd be 4, so it'd be 4, less than, okay, twice means 2 times width, okay, so again, length is 4 less than 2 times width, so again, less than, you have to point it back, okay, okay let's go to next one. Okay, number 35, so 9 means 9, more than means plus, 3 means 3, times means multiply, and unknown number means x, and that's it. Okay, so again, that's how you translate. Okay, okay let's go to the next one. Okay, number 37. So twice means two times the first consecutive even integer, so that's x, right? The first number is, is x, okay, minus the second even integer. The second one would be x plus two, right? Again, think about even integer. So you got 34, 36, right? See that difference by two. So you have to add two to get to the next even integer. Okay, so if the first one is x, the next one would be out of plus two, right? And that's it. Okay? Okay.